finally, I ended up getting all of my computer parts. So I was ready to build my new computer and that was last weekend. Hey, what's going on my friends? Chris here from Mixdown Online. Very, very excited today because I'm talking about my new computer, which is awesome. I was overdue to get a new computer. My older computer was like getting slower and slower, you know? Uh, I, was, I wasn't even able to, to, to do some video editing anymore, you know, on that computer. It was just like way too slow for my needs. All of my video editing were done on my laptop. So I had to get myself a new desktop computer. I thought of getting a laptop for the studio, but I decided to build myself a powerful computer to meet my needs. And since that I used to build computers before, and this is what I did for a living, if we go back 20 years ago, um, that was my job to build computers. I actually had a, you know, a tiny company back then uh, before getting into music production. Um, so from that point on, I always, always built myself my own computers. Okay, so I always did that except for laptops. So I had the minimum knowledge needed to uh, make, make it work. So now let's look at some footage that I shot during my build. And so you can see all the parts uh, that I got. And also I just want to give a big shout out and thanks to Glenn Fricker because I based myself on one of his latest video on his computer build. Now let's jump into it. So this is the Antec P101 mid-tower computer case. It's supposed to be a silent case. And this is what we get um, on the inside. And look at this. That's pretty cool. There's uh, this type of isolation thing going on here, which probably helps with the soundproofing of this case. Pretty cool. Um, now, the first thing I'm going to do before I start installing everything inside the case is to get rid of that um, hard drive enclosure, you know, uh, which holds like a bunch of drives that I'm not gonna need because I'm using SSD drives. Like, you know, those tiny drives that I have right here, okay? So those are, the, are gonna be the ones that I'm gonna be using inside the computer. So I'm gonna get rid of that. So I'm gonna have way more room inside the computer case, which is gonna help a lot. Now I removed all of the drives enclosures except the bottom ones, okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna keep those ones for now, okay? Cause I'm, you know, the chances are that I'm gonna uh, install some, uh, some SSD drives directly in those enclosures. And the cool thing about this case, look at this. Okay, I'm just gonna turn that one around. And if you look at the back of the case, we have two extra um, SSD drives holder, okay? Which is quite practical. So um, this is quite nice. I'm probably gonna use those as well. So this is what I get. Now what needs to be done is to install the power supply, then the motherboard and you know, and everything that follows. All right, so now the power supply. It's a um, Supernova 850 watts. So hopefully that will do the job. It should actually. Now the motherboard, a Z390 Design Air from Gigabyte. Um, this is a pretty good, Motherboard, it has Thunderbolt 3. Um, and I'm planning on, you know, on top of my Windows system, I'm planning also on installing again a Hackintosh system. And this uh, Design Air motherboard is like the perfect fit, the perfect motherboard to work with a Hackintosh. So we'll see how that goes. Now for the CPU, it's an i9 from Intel, it's a 9900K, top of the line CPU, you know, at this time. Next, I'm gonna install the fan. Now, I have the, it's the NHD15. I decided not to go with water cooling. And from what I've heard, this is like the most quiet fan, CPU fan on the market so far. Okay, so it's inside the box. Let me show you 
Okay, that is like a monster. Look at that. Like this is a crazy fan. Wow. Okay, video card. That's the one. Vega 64, supposed to be a very good one. And from what I've heard, pretty quiet because when you work with audio and you don't use the video card for some high processing work like video editing and stuff, the fan won't run, okay? So it makes the computer even more silent. It is a high-end video card, a bit expensive, uh, but since I'm planning to do a lot of video editing also on my system, I needed something um, that is gonna do the work pretty well. So this is why I went with this uh, uh, video card. So let's install it now. I forgot to talk to you about the memory, the RAM. Um, so I'm gonna be running so far, I'm gonna be running 32 gigs of RAM, okay? So I installed two sticks of uh, RAM, 16 gigs each. And uh, if I wanna add more later on and top that up to 64, I'm gonna have the option to. I think on that board, you can go up to 128 gigs of RAM if you want to. So I'll have plenty of options for the future. Um, then for the main drives where I'm going to install, uh, where I have installed actually my Windows OS, um, are two uh, M2 SSD drives, which are very tiny drives that you install directly on the motherboard. So one is for Windows and I'm keeping the other one for my Hackintosh when it's going to be time for me to build that up. It's not going to be for now. It's a plan for the near future. So that's basically the build. Now, the final product. And this is what we get. It's a very nice computer. Um, focus, focus, there you go. Very nice computer. It's pretty much silent, you know, so it doesn't generate a lot of noise. It's actually pretty impressive. If you look here at uh, on the top of the computer, we the computer we have like uh, different speeds for the case fans, so we can actually put it to uh, set it up to the maximum speed, which then the computer is going to generate way more noise, and that's pretty normal. And uh, let me open the door. Um, this is where I have the three front fans, and there's one at the back of the computer as well. And I can bring that down to the lower setting and to completely no fans, no case fans running, uh, running on, only the CPU fan, that's it. Which makes this computer very, very quiet. So now the reason why I decided to go with something very silent, like the most silent possible, it's just because I'm used to have my computer outside my control room. So my old computer was outside the control room and now I want to keep my new computer with me in the control room. Now you're going to ask me why do you want to do this? The reason is very simple. My new interface, the AXR4 from Steinberg, runs with Thunderbolt. And Thunderbolt cables are pretty much expensive. And putting my hands on 30 feet of Thunderbolt cable was quite complicated and way too expensive for now anyway. So maybe that's gonna be a plan for the future, uh, but for now, I'm gonna to have to keep my uh, computer with me in the control room. So that's why I did you know, everything possible to keep that computer as silent as possible. And I think it does a pretty good job so far. So there you go, that is my new computer. Very happy so far, but did not have the time yet to uh, to work on a full recording and production. I still need to install all of my uh, VST instruments, but all of my plugins, apart from the instruments, all the other plugins and Cubase are up and running. And so far it works pretty well. And also uh, the AXR4, my new sound interface is up and running. And also 
works pretty well. So I'm, I'm gonna dive into it and produce a couple of videos for you next month. Okay, so stay tuned. Now, as far as the computer OS operating system, I'm working on Windows, but I am also planning, like I said earlier, to install a Hackintosh. I did work with Hackintosh before. It served me well for four years, um, but then, you know, with the lack of knowledge that I have, you know, with Hackintosh, um, you know, when it was time to upgrade, I kind of messed things around and, you know, I had to go back to Windows, which I like though, you know, so I've been running on Windows for the past two years and uh, no, I'm not planning on going full time on Mac OS, but I would love to have both. Okay, to, to experiment with both. So I'm planning on installing a Hackintosh on a separate drive um, in the near future. You know, it's time consuming, so we'll see how much time I'm gonna have then. But you know, that's the plan anyways. I'm gonna keep you guys posted. Now, as far as the other software that I work with on this machine, um, Adobe Premiere, this is my main video editing software that I work with. So that's why I decided to go with that specific graphic card. Um, it is way more expensive. You don't need that for if you're only working with audio. But in my case, since I'm doing a lot of video editing on top of audio, I needed something that is fast and very performant and that works pretty well so far. Now, building a computer, custom computer by yourself is not something um, that is made for everyone. I'll be honest with you. Like I told you earlier, I have some background in building up computers, so that's why I wasn't afraid to just jump into the venture on building my own computer, but it's not made for everyone. There's a lot of stuff to be aware, some research to do. So if you don't have a minimum of knowledge in computer parts and how to build a computer, I would not suggest to you to build do your own computer. You're gonna be way better served with a major computer brand or a company like Slick Audio, you know, that is gonna custom made your computer for you. All right, my friends, I hope that was fun and helpful. Don't forget that I'm gonna leave the list of all the parts that I have on this new computer right down below, okay? So if you wanna take a look, everything is gonna be in the description down below. Don't forget to subscribe to share, to like if you enjoyed this video. And until next time, take care and see you.